good morning. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, bed had new nails. Sunday sky. You see this? This is the Sunday sky now. Um, we are beyond sunrise. Um, I'm stopping because I'm catching my breath because I've already walked two and a half miles pretty quickly. But um, see these clouds? They were blocking the sunrise and all of this. This is all clouds. But I just thought I'd share this little glimpse of the Sunday sky with you. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to walk for a minute and hope that these apple trees right here, um, truly they are apples. Those are apples right there. Um, we don't do anything to them, like uh, spray them so they get kind of wormy, but there's my Sunday sky. I know I've said that like three times because I was really hoping that there would be some beauty. I mean, there was beauty. It's not overlooked this morning, but the sky was very um, cloudy when I first started. So I'm happy to see a glimpse of the sun. Uh, we had, I don't know if it's just heavy dew or if it rained last night, but um, we had a little bit of that. You're gonna see my barn there. There we go. So uh, the sandhill cranes are in the field. It's pretty, it's very humid this morning. Very humid, um, but it is beautiful, it is cool. Although I was so uh, humid <laughs> um, that I had to take my jacket off. But I wanted to come on here, not for a real long trail talk with Tamara, but just I wanted to tell you something fun that our family did a Friday night. So a few months ago, Maybe even last summer, my grandfather gave us a tent that had never been opened. But let me just tell you this. It was a 45th edition of something, some man climbing, conquering Mount Everest in 1953. So let's do the math. 1953, 45th anniversary edition. And this was the tent that had never been opened. It was a 22-year-old brand new tent. So we decided, I gotta switch my arms, because I did my arm workout last night, and these arms are like, girl, give us a break. Here's my house. Um, anyway, so it was a, <laughs> it was a 22-year-old tent, so we opened it not knowing what to expect, but Charlotte had asked me in the pool the other day if she could do something called a 24-hour challenge. She wanted to stay in the pool for 24 hours. I was like, mm -mm, our skin is not designed for that. We are not dolphins. We are not sea creatures. We are not designed for 24 seven pooling <laughs> water <laughs> living. So anyway, so I said, well, what if we, and not 24 hours, what if we see if we can stay outside all night long? Let's start with that. So we got the tent set up Friday night, Friday afternoon. And I had, this is gonna sound really, oh, I don't know silly, but I had, I don't have any air mattresses or cots. Here, look at that. So pretty. Eh, it's not the same effect. I don't have any cots or air mattresses, but I had two twin mattresses in storage from tearing down the guest room and creating a dedicated office space for, for my work at home. So we got these two mattresses, stuck them inside this four person tent. I mean, it filled the whole thing, but it was fine. We uh, cooked dinner over the campfire. We made popcorn over the campfire. We even had s'mores. Let's just say all my weeklies were spent, but um, it was worth it. It was worth it for her. It was a memory I wanted to make uh, with her. And we hadn't really done that. Maybe we just, I mean, we've done camp, not like we've done like fire cooked dinners in the fire ring, but not not the whole thing. And we watched a movie in the tent and uh, we did sleep in the tent. I am definitely more of a Hilton hotel girl. <laughs> um, we slept out there. It was very loud. You know, it's country. So it was a very loud. Um, there were, let's see, we set it up in our backyard. We had a pear tree. We have a pear tree in the backyard, a Bartlett pear, um, which I do get pears off of that. Some years they're really, really good. And, um, but 
we were laying there and I was like, what is that noise? There was a baby possum in the pear tree. Oh, this is pretty. It's sun on me. Look at the clouds back here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, okay. So there was a baby possum in the tree eating pears. When Jack realized we were outside living, sleeping, he was like, what is going on in there? Why are you guys, what are you guys doing in there? Why are you, why are you in the tent? And so, and then he wanted to like climb up on the screen windows of the tent with his claws. So we were like, no, 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 get out of here. So, oh, anyway, it was fine. It was fine. And then, you know, the mattresses, it was two twin mattresses. So either Charlotte slept in the seam or she sat, slept on a twin mattress with me, which, um, hello, there was a room for her on my twin mattress. I also never, with my health conditions, prior to losing weight, never, ever, ever, ever would I have said, yeah, let's sleep on a mattress on the ground outside um, because I would, I had horrible like back pain. I was just uncomfortable in my own mattress, in my own home. So why, why would I put myself on a mattress out in, let's see if I can get a picture. out in uh, nature. Windy, I hope you can still hear me. Okay, so um, so anyway, so we did that and, <laughs> but every time somebody moved or turned over, <laughs> the mattresses, the mattresses, shh, bounced. Mattresses is what I was trying to say, mattress and bounced together. But, um, and then it was very hot at first, very hot and, um, I was slightly miserable. And then, of course, it cooled off a little bit during the evening. Gosh, it's pretty out here. These big voluminous clouds. The sun, again, I know you're like, girl, the sun, we know, we get it. The Sunday sky. But look at this big cloud here. And all the colors. Look at all the colors in that shot right there. You see that? So pretty. So pretty. Oh, we have baby ducks in our uh, not pond. <laughs> this thing right here, this area right here, here, there, um, is like wetlands. I think I shared with you guys, we took our little boat in the spring when everything was um, melted and the water had not uh, receded. We took the, the boat out there, but it's more like a marshy area, but there's ducks in it, there are babies. It's our first, first, ducklings so that was kind of fun and cool um my sunflowers are blooming in my garden back there don't know if you can see them um i kind of love this time of year where it's just like summer stretches her legs and uh takes a deep breath and i don't know that's how i do it so anyway so we slept in the tent but the um the temperature dropped during the night and we were cold and we had left the little window zippers open. So then like some dew kind of settled on us. So now we were cold and a little bit dewy. <laughs> but um, it was neat because I woke up like I normally do um, or am programmed to do at sunrise. So we had a little peaky view of the sunrise. Charlotte woke up and she saw it too. And um, then I got up and <coughs> I didn't walk because I had slept horribly but I got up and made breakfast for everybody and brought it out to the tent. And we, we just, we had a memory. We had a memory and we made it and we made the best of our circumstances. Charlotte and I should have been in Nantucket all of last week into the beginning part of this past week. And we were both kind of um, angry, grieving that and the loss of those summer memories with um, Grandma Sue. But you know what? You do what you can do. And so we made some memories here at home and we made the best of those circumstances. So and I just wanted to share that story with you guys. So here I am, I'm out for a walk. It's been like, um, I mean, I've exercised. In fact, fitness and I've exercised six days in a row. Who me? Yes, yes me. So um, that's what they said, six days in a row. Hi, oh, hello, Nick. This week will be a challenge because our Zumba instructor's on vacation. So 
I really wish she would record it and then we could just like watch it. I don't know if that's legal or not. So anyway, okay guys. So it is Sunday. I need to, oh, I need to see um, how far I've gone. If I need to go a little farther, but my, uh oh, oh, it's cause I'm not moving. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to, oh, I'm going to turn this off <laughs> because it's getting sunny. I got to go inside and get ready for worship services. And um, for any of you who are watching this uh, today, um, well, or maybe next Sunday or whenever, um, I will see some of you uh, tonight in small groups where we talk about uh, the W in awesome water winning. With that said, remember you, oh, look, that's me. Fierce. <laughs> Let's get out of that. Um, remember, you've got goals. Yeah. Yes, you do. I do too. Let's go take a shower and tame this hair. But anyway, you've got goals. Yes, you do. Go get them. Bye, guys.